Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today we are going to speak about the regulation of Special Federal Aviation Regulation 88 or SFAR 88. Uh, this regulation are introduced into the aviation and airline industry since 1997 after the investigation in a major accident that do happen on a Boeing 747 which after takeoff the center tank explode in flight the wing tank uh, wing center tank explode in flight due to a flammability issue due to flammability issue the uh, fuel vapor inside the center tank was flammable and an ignition happened inside the center tank okay so after investigation of this accident which was called TWA 800 the Federal Aviation Administration or FAA introduced what it called Fuel Tank Safety or CDCCL, Critical Design Configuration Control Limitation, or Fuel Tank Safety Regulation, SFAR 88. This regulation are intended, or this regulation is intended to decrease flammability within fuel tank and to prevent any ignition source happening in the fuel tank uh, to prevent explosion or, or, or to prevent an, uh, uh, an any unsafe condition to happen. Okay. So, what you can see here is the fire triangle, fire triangle, which composed of oxygen, heat, and fuel. Okay. Regulator reach to flammability approach to uh, uh, be the basic for this regulation to uh, 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 to uh, approaches to decrease flammability inside the fuel tank and to prevent ignition to happen inside the fuel tank okay and they introduced SFAR 88 or Special Federal Aviation Regulation 88 as a base to increase fuel tank safety as a base to increase fuel tank safety okay the regulator reach that inside the fuel tank there is oxygen or air the tank is ventilated by oxygen and inside the fuel tank there is a fuel vapor and there may be any ignition source happen maybe any ignition source happen due to electrical component inside the fuel tank so the regulator elect that there uh, that we can have to approach to reduce flammability within fuel tank two approaches to reduce flammability or to prevent the ignition happening inside the fuel tank to prevent any unsafe condition to happen there are flammability approach as the tank do have oxygen and fuel so the tank is flammable we can reduce flammability inside the fuel tank also even if the fuel tank uh, uh, flammable we need to prevent any ignition source from happening inside the fuel tank so the two approaches for fuel tank safety or CDCCL regulation is a flammability approach and ignition approach okay one approach is the responsibility of the manufacturer the special federal aviation regulation 88 which is introduced by the federal aviation administration request the aircraft manufacturer to produce nitrogen or nitrogen inerting system to take care of the ventilation of the center tank and allow the center tank to be inerted okay to reduce flammability inside the fuel tank we need nitrogen to replace oxygen so that Many aircraft now, like the A320 or the Boeing 737, the manufacturer introduced what it called nitrogen inerting system or NGS that will allow nitrogen, not oxygen, to be inside the center tank. To allow the center tank not to be flammable. To allow the center tank not to be flammable. 
Okay, so this is the first approach for fuel tank safety, which is called inerting approach. And it is the manufacturer responsibility to, in to introduce what it called the nitrogen generation system or inerting system to replace oxygen from the center tank specially, from the center tank specially. Also, the other approach is ignition prevention approach, which is an approach related to the operator or maintenance personnel or maintenance organization. Now, there is some task for the fuel tank, which is called the CDCCL task. And you, as a maintenance people, you will find a warning in the task to prevent an ignition source happening after finishing this task. When you see a warning in a maintenance task related to the fuel, ta related to the fuel tank, so you understand well that you need to know the critical design and bring back the critical design as it was initially by the manufacturer to prevent any ignition source happen inside the fuel tank happen inside the fuel tank okay related to this regulation to apply this regulation which is called the special federal aviation regulation 88 the manufacturer started to inert the center tank first for example boeing and airbus they started to inert the fuel uh, the center tank system first or the center tank first why the center tank is the most critical tank everybody why the center tank is the most critical tank because this is for two reasons the first reason the center tank is the first tank to be empty during flight and when the tank become empty the yellage or the empty space inside the fuel tank will be large and a mix of fuel vapor and oxygen will be introduced inside the center tank. So that the center tank, as it is the first tank to be empty during flight, so that it is the most critical tank. Also, the center tank, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people, having the air conditioning back underneath the tank, which can speed up the heating process of any fuel inside the fuel tank, inside the center tank, and allow this fuel to reach the flammable temperature, to reach the flammable temperature, and to be ready to be ignited, to be ready to be exploded if any ignition source to happen. So that the center tank is the most critical tank. So that the center tank is the most critical tank. So now everybody, you can find a new system introduced into the aircraft, which is called nitrogen generation system. This nitrogen generation system simply is a filter that do take air bleed from the pneumatic system and replace the water vapor and oxygen from the air and convert this bleed into nitrogen and allow this nitrogen to go to the center tank and uh, inert the center tank and inert the center tank so as a summary everybody now we uh, learn well about the special federal aviation regulation or the fuel tank safety regulation or the cdccl regulation and for the critical design configuration we have two approaches as I mentioned, flammability approach or flammability reduction approach. This is the responsibility of the manufacturer by introducing the nitrogen generation system. And the second approach is ignition prevention approach, ignition prevention approach, which is the responsibility of the aircraft manufacturer, sorry, of the aircraft maintenance and aircraft operator. They need to take care about the fuel tank safety tasks or the CDCCL task, okay? And they bring back the critical design as the manufacturer do it before to prevent any unsafe condition from happening. To prevent any unsafe condition from happening. Okay, everybody. Thank you always for your good listening. Thank you always for your good listening. 
and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. Today, we speak about the CDCCL regulation or fuel tank safety regulation, and we speak about the SFAR or Special Federal Aviation Regulation, 88 regula regulation that introduced into the aviation industry since almost 1997 to protect and to prevent any unsafe condition to happen to the wing tank and to the center tank or the fuel tank system. Always stay tuned for upcoming sessions like this. And this session is a performance support tool session to understand well some aircraft system. And please, for formal training, consult your formal manuals like flight crew operating manual, aircraft maintenance manual, or troubleshooting manual. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please don't forget to subscribe to my aviation nuggets on the YouTube. And please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. Thank you, have a good day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.